क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ आरएल सर्किट एट t इक्वल टू 0 व्हेन स्विच इज क्लोज्ड तो इनिशियली इंडक्टर डज नॉट अलाउ एनी करंट इट एक्ट्स एज ओपन सर्किट सो इनिशियली देयर विल नो करंट इन अपर टू ब्रांचेस करंट विल बी ओनली थ्रू द रेजिस्टर 12 ओम सो इनिशियली वी गेट द मैक्सिमम करंट करंट इज 5 बाय 12 एंपियर when a steady state is attained, then di by dt is 0, rate of change of current is 0. So, inductor acts as a short circuited wire. So, in a steady state, all the three resistors come into account. So, in a steady state, minimum current passes and it is E upon equivalent resistance. Since these three branches are in parallel, Equivalent resistance is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 by R. Thus we get I minimum. Question number 16. The beta decay equation is this. From the given values, we can calculate the mass defect. And when mass defect is converted to energy, release energy, that comes out to be this value. But in the problem it is given that the carbon formed is in excited state and energy required for excitation has been given to be 4.041 MeV. Hence, kinetic energy of electron will be the release energy minus the energy required for excitation. On taking difference, we get 9 MeV. So, our answer is 9. Question number 17. The energy of the incident photon can be determined from the formula SC by lambda and from the given value of HC in the problem. From here, we get the excitation energy of the photon. Initially, hydrogen atom is in ground state. On getting to excited state, its energy is given by mass 13.6 upon n square. On solving, we get n equal to 4. Since excited state is n equal to 4, the number of lines emitted will be nc2, that is 6. So, our answer is 6. Question number 18. Power radiator is given by Stephen's law. E is emissivity, A is area, surface area, Stephen's constant, and absolute temperature in Kelvin. So initially, the sensor reading is 1, initial temperature is 487. So initially, this is the expression. At temperature 2767 degree centigrade, the same expression becomes this. Now we have to solve equation 1 and 2. Subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, we get this expression, which on solving reduces to log 2 to power 8 to base 2, which on solving yields x equal to 9. So our answer is 9.